there was material which could get people hurt. Julian said, if an Afghan civilian helps occupying forces, he deserves to die. They might already have on their hands the blood of some young soldier. Scared the hell out of a lot of people. How are we going to stop it? And how far has it gone already? The sort of aging student hobo was a rock star. Oscar-winning filmmaker Alex Gibney ventures behind the headlines with his examination of Julian Assange, Bradley Manning and all that. We Steal Secrets is a crash course in the politics of WikiLeaks and whistleblowers. Gibney leads us from Assange's embryonic beginnings, hacking NASA computers in the 1980s, right through to the deluge of diplomatic cables and classified documents that shook the world in 2010. The nation states need to be secret in order to be successful. We steal secrets. Henry, did this tell you more about WikiLeaks than you had any wish to know? I'm not sure it told me more about WikiLeaks. It might have told me more about Bradley Manning. That, not that I wish to know, but that I wanted to know, actually. I thought it was great in that regard. And this is first out of the gate of the 7,000 WikiLeaks films that are coming down the pipeline. But it's a decent, solid retelling of the recent events, as, as much as you could expect for something that is so close to the time period that it's talking mm. about, I think. Um, the part that I loved about it was that the way that he talks about Bradley Manning, but we don't ever really see Bradley Manning much for the first hour or so, you instead get these chat transcripts that Bradley yeah. Manning sent to his contact. A lot of films have trouble showing the internet or email or chat transcripts mm. as something that's exciting, but I did find this weirdly moving, just seeing this type rattle across the screen as he talks about his uh, gender identification problems and the, the, the trouble he's having in the military. So I thought it was great for that reason. Um, the other side of it, dealing with Assange, was a little bit overblown for me in that he paints him as something of a, a fool by the end of it, I felt. And it was a little bit disingenuous to Assange in terms of the risk that he personally has taken as well. He might well be into the showbiz aspect of being a, a hacktivist, but at the same time, you have to give the guy credit, and I think the film tears him down a little bit too much. Assange has, has publicly disowned the film and has many issues with it. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was an interesting film. I think Henry's absolutely right. But the, the problem for me, I'm not sure there's a problem, but it's a slight issue that it rather smoothly and even glibly takes the party line against Assange. It just says, well, he was a fascinating radical, a wild, fascinating, anarchic and subversive. But, but in the end, he's flawed. In the end, he's a paranoid authoritarian. So we can sort of dismiss him a bit. Mm. I think, well, yes, he is a nasty piece of work, possibly, and he may be a bit of a big head, but... That applies to a lot of journalists too, incidentally. But he achieved something kind of staggering. He achieved this extraordinary revelation. He had to be both journalist and source himself because uh, his uh, anonymous Dropbox meant that he genuinely didn't know who'd given him this information. It wasn't him mm. who'd dropped Bradley Manning, it was mm. somebody else. I mean, it, in all the narratives about journalistic scoops, there's always a question, oh, do we burn our source? Do we give away our source? Genuinely, that wasn't the case now. But and that so is an I issue with I, Assange that he is utterly irresponsible. But he is irresponsible, yes, that's true. But that's because he genuinely was, uh, is an outsider. He, d he doesn't have media ethics. I think he, he was learning on the job mm. in a way that uh, lots of us do. And I think the question that I sat down to this movie with, is John Pilger going to be interview interviewed here or not? Are we going to get the case for Julian Assange? No. Mm. And I think... It was kind of disingenuous. Whatever you think of John Pilger, John Pilger is a very vehement, very angry uh, person who is in Assange's corner. He thinks that the conventional, bland, consensual, liberal media have dropped Assange. They have betrayed Assange. Now, whether you agree with that or not, you need I to think hear you it. You need to hear it. I think we needed to hear from John Pilger, and we didn't. Are we too close to this material? Is it too too current? Is Gibney able to frame it, or is this a kind of work in progress? I think in some ways we aren't close enough to what it's been about in the first place. Why have they risked their lives to tell us what exactly? Now, what they've told us is that the civilian casualties and the attitude to civilian casualties and collateral damage in Iraq and Afghanistan was far higher than the authorities ever pretended to us. And also that the United States has a dysfunctional relationship now with Pakistan that it showers them with aid and it showers them with drones. And there's this weird, creepy thing happening. And without Bradley Manning and Julian Assange, we wouldn't know as much about that or anything about that. So I think I could have done with more of the political context from, from the film. That's not to disparage it because I thought it was, it was very decently done and it was very thorough. 
And in that regard, it would be interesting to see what the fictionalised version, which is coming out, I think, next year, with Benedict yes. Cumberbatch starring as Assange, will do with it, because yeah. you know, I, we're still I, incredibly I, close to the I events as they happen. Yes, exactly. And you're going to add that layer of drama on top. Yes. I worry that we're going to be looking back on this as an absolute This is yeah. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> Who's going to be playing the Ecuadorian president? Ron Perlman. Yeah. <laughs> Frankly, I just didn't find what he had to say all that interesting at first until he started making references to spilling secrets. to fear and anxiety and pain. They seem so together now. The world is problematic, you know, for him. And I think that, you know, we can imagine that all. Mr. Gru, Agent Lucy Wilde of the anti- I, I can pretty much excel at whatever I want.